here we have two spoons. One is made of sterling silver and one is a stainless steel spoon. This is the stainless steel one as you might be able to guess by the colour of it and this is the solid silver, solid sterling silver dessert spoon. Obviously this is a dessert spoon and I think this is actually a tablespoon but I think what I'm about to show you is still um, a good way of at least give it, getting a first indication of real silver from um, silver plated or um, base metal spoons like this. This process isn't going to tell you uh, the grade of the silver. It's not going to confirm for certain that it's actually even made of silver. I'm pretty happy with it as a test for for verifying spoons to be honest. You should really buy a chemical kit that will tell you um, not only whether or not it's genuine silver but the grade of the silver as well. But the fact that this has got all the hallmarks correct hallmarks on the back, i.e. the little um, lion and the date and all the other English um, marks to say that it's sterling silver and the fact that it's not worn in any places um, and the weight of it. I'm, and indeed the ice test I'm about to show you, I'm pretty convinced that this is a, a 925 um, silver spoon. So I put an ice cube in both of the bowls of these spoons. Okay, now they're both melting very quickly. Now the key thing here is that the spoons were both the same temperature when I started this experiment. It's quite difficult for me to show you but both spoons are, the ice on both spoons is melting very quickly, okay? But the key thing here is that actually if you leave these two spoons side by side in the same conditions, the ice will melt more quickly on the solid silver spoon because silver is an excellent, I think it's an excellent dissipator of heat or an excellent conductor of heat. What you'll find is basically the cold from the ice cube will spread very quickly throughout the silver spoon which allows it to radiate more quickly from the spoon which means that the ice will melt um, more quickly. You can see water droplets as it melts on the stainless steel spoon and there are, there are a lot of water droplets on this sterling silver spoon and I think pretty confident that this ice cube is melting faster than the stainless steel one. Now there is another test, not just the speed of the um, melting but also the um, temperature of the spoons themselves. So because this silver has this special property that it's um, more conductive I suppose for heat, if you touch the handles of both of these spoons, the stainless steel one, to be honest at this end, this part of the spoon, even though it's bigger, it's had quite a time to to cool down, this end of the of the handle is room temperature. And it's really only when until you get to about there that you start to feel the coldness of the ice. On this silver spoon, by contrast, the handle is ice cold. Uniformly ice cold all the way along the spoon. Coldness from this ice cube is spreading quickly through this silver spoon. And really that's enough information for me to identify uh, that this is, this is a solid silver spoon. But as I say, you should really do an acid test as well as checking the hallmarks. And there are a few things to look out for if you buy this sort of thing. Um, from eBay, for instance, uh, there are some kind of untrustworthy sellers out there who will list these things as silver topped or excellent solid silver spoon on base metal. All these weird phrases. I think the best one I found... Um, I think it might be an old English term, term um, called hafted or ha hafted or something, which basically means that only the handle is silver. Thanks for thanks for watching this video. I hope it's given you a bit of help in identifying genuine sterling silver from um, things on base metal or silver plated. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thanks. Bye.